Welcome Taurus, this is your mid-month tarot forecast for May 2024. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome, love your support. And uh, if you do enjoy my readings, make sure to subscribe to my channel, show the love, hit the like button, as well as the notification bell so you get notified when your next star sign reading is up on my channel. Now, there is a competition running. I've just reopened my personal readings. I've been closed for quite some time. To, so to celebrate that, I'm going to be giving away a one-hour personal reading to uh, one lucky person on my channel. Now, it is a pre-recorded video reading, so I can meditate on your energies, uh, do an Akashic record check, as well as answer your most burning questions with the Tarot and the Oracle. So to enter, all you have to do is pop a comment down below this video or any of the videos this month in May, and I will be drawing a random winner and announcing it at the end of the month. You will need to be subscribed to my channel. Yeah, so I will be checking that. And if you do want to get a personal reading with me, I am going to be giving away a coupon code. You can get $15 off my readings till the end of May. It's going to pop up here. I'll also put it down below. Let's dive in. So pulling you an opening energy, Taurus, from the beautiful Heart and Soul Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. It's very beautiful. It's like a beautiful moon on the water there. It could be the sun as well. Kind of looks moony, yeah. Oh, it says you're afraid to let something go that's no longer working for you. There is a deep sense of duty or guilt, and you feel like you don't have a choice. The reality is that you do, and ultimately doing what you know feels right in your heart will be the best for all concerned. Kind of an important message. So perhaps you've held on to something and you've known within self, because often we know, right, that, something's not working for us and we, we as much as we want to continue with it or keep trying to make it work it's time to let it go so for some of you it'll be something to do with related to your career and your job yeah um for others it may be something that disappoints someone else but it's right for you maybe you know a kind of decision that somebody else doesn't really understand but you know that it's the right you know it's the most healthy thing for you to do all right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the uh, Sacred Destiny Oracle. Um, there is another message channeling through as it could be a way of being in terms of how you show up in life that you need to change as well. You've got purification, so the big sunflower here. Now, this can relate to your physical health and well-being, so uh, cleansing the physical body around your nutrition, drinking more water, getting more exercise, rest. Um, it, could be, it could be your emotional waters. All right, it's two here. Oh, you're going through this massive transformation, the beautiful butterfly. So whatever is changing is meant to leave your life at this time. It's going to open you up to a whole lot more personal growth. And you really need to stay focused on what's important to you. Don't get swayed off your path. Got a beautiful snow leopard there. What else does Taurus need to know? thinking about it oh, and you need to just trust your wisdom so whenever this comes out you've got a lot of life experience and it's really about going within to seek your answers not outside of self you don't need to seek somebody else's approval to do what's right for you all right let's put some guidance from the beautiful star temple oracle Oh, this is gorgeous. You've pulled the Lapis Lazuli star. How beautiful is she? <laughs> oh, the third eye chakra is really ornate here and lit up. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. So some of you need to do a bit of a cleanse and then you're going to get the clarity that you seek about moving forward on your path because it's related to purification. You've also pulled the oracle, which is you trusting your psychic insights. Um, they may, you may have more openness or you may be receiving a lot more psychic insights, trusting in those. All right, this wants to flip out. Mm. You've also pulled the medicine woman, which is I heal and nourish my mind, body and soul 
So some of you may need to do some physical healing around that physical body of yours. Uh, now, it can also be emotional because that's also channeling through. Maybe going through some sort of illness or injury. Oh, this is interesting. You've also pulled the ruby star. Now, a lot of passion there, which is opening up to your sensual side. Mm -hmm. There's a message channeling through, and I don't know who it relates to, but um, it may strike a chord with you. Is that Some of you have been in a relationship that has been lacking in love been lacking in intimacy it's been lacking in affection it's almost like you've been living side by side but the love is gone some of you are leaving that behind and opening up to this and knowing this is really important to you which means that you've traveled as far as you can together yeah on your journey nothing wrong with that it's just a sometimes just happens yeah all right, let's squeeze some clarifiers with the energy oracle. Let's have a look at purification here. And you've been guided by your inner vision. Hmm. You got the garden and the gate. So some of you are pondering your next steps, holding yourself back a little bit from life. And it's also come out with the door to personal healing and happiness. So whatever this change is, it's going to create this beautiful transformation in self. Again, some of you can go through, be going through physical healing. Mm, everything's bringing you to a place of balance. So where you've been out of balance, you're coming back into balance. Let's have a look at this indecision or holding yourself back. Guidance, please. Mm, yeah, it's directly related to your energy. So you may be wanting to, this is your solar plexus chakra. There may be things that you want to do. You may want to push forward. And some of you are going are having to deal with some sort of ailment or injury going on with the physical body. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at transformation. Oh, you're being led by your heart. You're trusting your heart more, which is so beautiful. Whereas before you may have done things that were super practical and now you're stepping into your heart chakra. You are going to need a lot of strength for this transformation. Transformation is often quite uncomfortable, darling. <laughs> as well as this physical healing you're going through, you're going to need your strength, yes. And a big message, you're going to have patience, you need to have patience with yourself and the timing of it. All right, let's have a look at you being really focused, trusting in your psychic insights to guide you. Ooh, some of you got the door to romance opening and wanting to open up that door to romance. You do need to be, there's some of you definitely need to work on your health though first, darling. <laughs> yes. Oh, because everything's preceded before that by your health and well-being. Oh, you're loving yourself more. Some of you are really been working on your sense of self-love and self-worth. So living in the present moment, really valuing and appreciating yourself, which is so beautiful. Mm. And you're learning how to manage your emotions better. Yeah. You're not learning how to bring yourself more into balance around your emotions. Let's have a look at the medicine woman here, which is your healing self, mind, body, soul. Mm. You've got the root chakra here. So your sense of security and stability, part of your path, I'm going to say you are feeling stable. So this is a part of your life that's actually going well. Hmm. So we're saying journaling could be really good for you. Also having a solid plan when it comes to your finances. Uh, others may be healing that aspect of your life. I mean, journaling is an amazing tool just to release emotions and to clear energy. Hmm. You got deceit here. So some of you may have gone through a situation where there was deceit. But you've done a lot of work on self. Oh, there was deceit and envy and lack. So a situation where you didn't get a lot out of it, darlings, or it wasn't being reciprocated back to you in terms of what you needed. Yeah, there's a storm warning going on here. 
It was deeply challenging for you, whatever it was. Yeah, cradle a lot of anxiety in your life, a lot of stress. Any other guidance there? Hmm. And you've walked away from it or you're about to walk away from it, which is in your highest good, darling. So let's have a look at your wisdom. Whatever it was, it's showing you something about self. It's showing you something about the people involved or the situation involved. It's giving you a light bulb moment. Possibly a lot probably about you loving yourself, valuing yourself more, putting yourself first. Knowing your value. Well done. Yeah, you got the thinking man. So guys, being very balanced and rational, particularly when it comes to your finances. And there's a gorgeous caring connection here. So some of you opening up to a beautiful, affectionate connection. Mm -hmm. And you got the magician in the mirror. So you can do anything you want, my loves. Anything you want. Let's have a look at you getting more into your sensual side, opening up to that side of self. Mm, you got the world at your feet. Time of expansion, brand new life chapter, closing the door out in a chapter or cycle that doesn't serve you. There is a message channeling through for some of you where you're already in a caring connection. Whatever's leaving your life is going to allow more balance into this connection. Others are leaving a certain situation go that did not serve you well at all. May have initially, but not anymore. You've got the sun coming out, this beautiful positive shift in renewed hope, optimism, your plans working out perfectly. And this is where you're headed, to your crown chakra, being in your high states of consciousness, a lot more personal awareness of self. All right, let's give you some guidance from the... Uh, Goddess Guidance deck, having a good top row, which is all about you doing a cleanse and a lot around healing the physical body, trusting yourself. Oh, again, you got a message going through this massive transformation. Mm. Yeah. So whenever we go through transformation, there's always endings and beginnings, yeah? Oh, hello. Got a true love coming in. They're not already in your life. They're coming in. You've also got a golden opportunity coming in around career. So it's all happening, Taurus. Talking of transformation, <laughs> let's have a look at your trust in your heart. Relying on your strength, having patience. Oh, again, you got the magician coming out in a different deck here. It's all up to you, my loves. You got blossoming abundance. So you will see signs that things are working for you when you go in a new direction. Oh, darling, so you're going to get signs and then you're going to get a massive big fat yes when it comes to your abundance. It's going to literally just barrel into your life, darlings. Oh, you lucky, lucky angels. You got, you know, this is a major pivotal moment in your life. So if you felt like whatever happened was deeply hurtful, my God, you're going to get some karmic justice on steroids, darlings. I mean, <laughs> let me hold this up. Let me hold it up for you. <laughs> I can get them all in the picture. Let me get this one in as well, darlings. Have a look at this. Is what's coming. Uh huh. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna get a massive smile on your dial. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, everything's turning out in your favour. All right, let's have a look at you being focused and trusting your psychic insights and loving on yourself. Or love opening, managing your emotions. Yeah, you just got to take a leap of faith and embrace these changes. No, there's major blessings ahead. Doing your spiritual practices are going to be really good for you. And I think some of you have um, gotten into new spiritual practices that really help soothe your soul and lift you up. You've got a need to put some boundaries around your time and your energy and your emotions creating a really positive space around you in your inner circle. And again, you got the message to be strong, right? You're going to weather this storm. You're coming out the other side into major, major blessings. 
Now on this side, you've got this walking away from whatever situation you've been in. There's a gorgeous love connection here in the sun and the world. Oh, my darlings, everything's leading you to this beautiful place of inner peace. Uh-huh. Peace will be restored. It's one of your best readings ever. You've really got to watch your emotions, right? So you've got to be what mindful because you've gone through this beautiful transformation going through it. So you've just got to watch sometimes when that happens, we can go through cycles of dipping backwards and, you know, going through that situation that was deeply hurtful and coming up for us time and time again. So you've got to really watch that and pull yourself up when that happens and reset, do a reset. How do we do a reset? Um, Self-care activities, laying down and doing meditation for 20 minutes, like sound therapy. Uh, getting out in nature for a nice nature walk or doing some hard exercise because some of you will need to do some firm exercise, darlings, to just get stress out. And then you're going to feel really empowered and strong. Uh, you know, one of the things I can recommend is when we do a pattern interrupt, instantly boost your mood. Uh, it's an app that I use called the Inner Tune app. It's a free app you can download on your mobile phone. It has playlists of positive affirmations and you can choose the voice and the music behind it. They already have playlists created for you, or you can create your own from their affirmation library. Um, they've recently lifted the limit from that was only in the premium version, so there's longer listening times because you can listen for a minute or five minutes, but now you can listen for a lot longer, yeah? That is coming in. It's not already in. Uh, there is a premium version which you just get a lot more features, but um, all you can do is just whenever you're feeling a little bit flat or know that you're dipping, tap on that app, play an affirmation list for like, I, I tend to do them for about five minutes because I love that. Uh, and you can set reminders as well, yeah. So I'll put that link on here and down below if you're interested in going to check that out. Here it is, darlings. This is what I said. You've got karmic justice coming in. Justice and fairness in major, major blessings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's put some guidance from the crystal healing deck. Now, this is related to your love coming in, golden opportunities coming in, personal healing and happiness. Everything's leading you to success. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at your transformation going on here, which is uh, a lot about you relying on your strength and you're going to see signs that what you're doing is working and then you're going to just get this abundance coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're absolutely manifesting what you want right now. Yeah. Mm, wow, you've pulled healthy boundaries on top of healthy boundaries. Massive notice. There is someone you need to put a strong boundary in place with. Mm. Spirit saying music could be really soothing for you, particularly when this energy tries to upset your energy. I mean, their energy is not great. It's why you've walked away from it or are walking away from it. Oh, my God. On this side, again, you've got peace. Whatever decision you're going to make that's major that you're walking away from is going to bring so much peace to your life. And you just need to apply a lot of self-love at this time, a lot of self-care activities, and you're divinely protected by spirit. Mm -hmm. Divinely protected. Divinely protected from that energy as well. I'm going to say for some of you, when you walk away from that situation, there's going to be an upheaval in that person's life because if they react out and you're going to need to put these kind of boundaries in place, which bright red, really strong, is because they won't be able to control you anymore. And I suggest that a lot of whatever that was was control and manipulation going on. They have no power to control you anymore, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. So expect a reaction. And when people can't, when, when people are used to getting their own way and controlling and making other people feel bad about themselves and they can no longer do it because you've transformed and changed and healed, uh, they have no effect. Mm -hmm. What are they going to do with all that unhappiness they've got within themselves? They're going to try and project it. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yes. All right, let's please some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Oh, Spirit saying trust in magic. Uh, they're going to be helping you the whole way to bring you this beautiful love, this golden opportunity, this abundance. Yeah, you need to regularly ground your energy just so that you feel calm and centered. Yeah, and you've got the lion coming out again, so you've really got to rely on your strength and your courage. And hiding behind that, oh my god, 
Hiding behind courage is be vigilant. This is related to these boundaries. So do not be naive about people. Watch your back. Watch your reputation. This person doesn't have great energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you got stay strong. Come out three times in your reading. It's a dragon there. Dragons are very protective times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. You've pulled, we are all connected, and it's also come out with the eagle, which is the highest animal spirit guide. So spirit's absolutely watching over you, it's totally watching over you. You have an eagle cross your path. Um, spirit's telling you they're directly, they're with you, right? Divinely protected. All right, let's have a look at your money, your money flow. All right, now you're clearing debts and trying to clear your debts, yeah, which is going to make you feel better. And it could even just be you making a plan on how you're going to clear your debts. Yeah, there's a need for you to face your financial fears. So particularly if whatever this situation is, is going to change your financial circumstances in some way. For example, if you're leaving a love connection where you had joint finances and now it's only going to have to do it solo and, you know, maintain a new house and all that kind of stuff. When you actually sit down, because we can project fears unnecessarily, um, which means that we're just out of our comfort zone and we're going from the known to the unknown, yeah. But if you sat down and wrote a budget out and wrote down every expense that you have and what you spend on, you know, your living expenses and things like that and what you actually need and then have a look at what you've got coming in, uh, you can figure out a way in which to move yourself forward in a very practical way, darling. It's very reassuring. Mm -hmm. You feel a lot better once you've done that. Oh, I love this. You've also pulled bountiful nature. Whenever you're feeling a state of lack or worry and anxiety around money, get yourself out in nature, which is totally free. Immerse yourself in nature and just do your gratefulness practices and feel that beautiful, bountiful abundance that's sitting in nature. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. I mean, mostly what's coming out is the physical body. Your heart chakras come out. Oh, I was pretty saying do adventurous things because that's really going to fire up that solar plexus of yours, your life force energy and your inner child. Oh, I'll spend some time with your friends. Do adventurous things with your friends. And your spiritual body. I'm going to say the light in your spiritual body is growing. So do, continue to do those spiritual practices. Don't underestimate how valuable that is to you at this time. All right, let's have a look and see who connects to in the spirit realm. Divine gifts and talents. Or oh, you have the gift of being a teacher. Now, this could be just in your life lessons, so sharing that wisdom with your children, with your family. It could be something where you want to share your wisdom with others. It could be formally as a teacher. Oh, some of you are gifted in naturopathy or want to study naturopathy. Oh, you're connected to the star Sirius. Some of you are definite star seeds, yeah. So if you feel a connection to star Sirius, you've often had a past life or lives in ancient Egypt as well. Most likely if you've delved into it, the gifts and talents of an ascended master within you. Mm -hmm. You know, if I can share anything with you, is sometimes when we have these kind of situations that happen in our life, is we can ask ourselves, well, why is it happening to me, right? And we can often feel really down about certain situations that are like this because this is <laughs> pretty deep, yeah. And if you can look at it in a way where particularly if it resonates with you that you're here to help others on their path in some way or it could even just be a way in which you look at your life, is either it's helping us transform to become whole which means we're releasing a lot of karmic debt out of our life and karmic imprints on how we've grown up and how our self-esteem has been affected and how our sense of self has been affected. There's one aspect to it, right? So it's very healthy. As much as as hard as it is, it gets us to look at ourselves and our life and what needs to change. The other aspect of it is if this is part of your path, being a teacher, is that it is giving you the skills and experience and abilities to help others. Yeah, with your life experiences. Now let's have a look at your life path. 
Oh, you like to be disciplined and organised. Most Tauruses are, dare I say. Uh -huh. Yes. We're a practical Taurus. Oh, you love helping others. That's a beautiful aspect, Estelle. Don't give too much of your energy away, though. You're also at this time easily distracted and procrastinating, and I'd suggest that's because you've got a lot of change going on. Oh, and some of you, your life purpose involves helping children in some way. If that resonates, why the teacher card is there. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy from the Pegasus Oracle. Beautiful death by the fair child. What is it Taurus needs to know at this time? Oh, you pulled the Pegasus of Speaker. He's kind of looking off to the stars. Very beautiful. Let's <laughs> pull you up the guidance. One of your best readings ever, Taurus. Mm hmm. It says, through the gentle, powerful blessings of the twin star system speaker, beloved soul guardian Pegasus facilitates the integration of your higher self. So you identify less with the ego and feel more connected to your essence. The stars of speaker are so close they can appear as one. It confirms your spirit will never leave you, always loves you, and is grateful for all of you, even if you may sometimes feel spiritually disconnected or worry that you're not growing fast enough or that you're making mistakes. You are always seen, held and loved by the spiritual worlds. Issues around separation, abandonment and neglect are healing. You recognize such experiences were the result of another's wounding rather than an indication of your value. There it is. Mm -hmm. You are releasing attachment to the wounding of others and anchoring to the light of your true self. This allows you to break ancestral lineages of unresolved trauma that may manifest as dysfunctional family and social cultures and lead to a new healed culture and higher functioning relationships. And if you've been caught up in power struggles, you will reorientate your focus on the light of your higher self, releasing toxic engagement. And as you no longer devote your energy to another's agenda, your well-being increases and your purpose becomes clearer. Your light is growing stronger and it benefits all. Trust in the promise of what is to be in your capacity to heal and in the spiritual grace that is always with you as your guiding light. I'm just going to say, darling, this is so in attunement with your reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Pretty much exactly what I shared with you. <laughs> All right, those are your messages. Love to hear feedback on your comments down below and how this reading resonated for you. Don't forget to enter the competition. Let me know you want to go in the draw down below. And uh, if you do want to reach out for a personal reading, grab that coupon code before you go so you can get $15 off a reading uh, in the month of May. And uh, that link is on here and down below. And take it easy for now. Much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.